There are rumours of Faye and Chloe feuding behind the scenes. What do you make of that? I mean, this series, we've seen bombshells come and go within 48 hours. At the time, Chloe and Toby were probably the weaker link and therefore the easiest way to get in and to remain in the villa. Who do you think was the villain of your series and why? Oh no, that's a hard question. We've got very similar personalities and we're both very headstrong, so I thought that that could be a recipe for disaster, but turns out it is a recipe for disaster, just not in the way that I thought it would be. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharon and I'm playing Tex on the Beach with Cosmo UK. Don't forget to subscribe to watch more like this. I've got a text! Describe your time in the villa in three words. I would say friendship, funny, and whirlwind. Did I expect Toby to move on from Chloe? Do you know what, actually? I did expect Toby to move on from Chloe. I didn't think it would be this soon. I thought he'd at least wait till Casa Amor before that happened, um, but I was wrong. For me, I think it was just watching the whole Toby and Kaz situation. You know, once it's been done on one side, it can be done again, in my opinions. So yeah, completely expected it. Do you think you were unfairly dumped from the villa? I wouldn't say unfairly dumped. Um, you know, AJ was actually very upset to me that, you know, her decision meant there was a consequence for me, but it's part of the game. And at the time there was no one really in the villa for me. Do you regret any of your choices in the villa? No, I don't regret any of my choices. Like I very much stuck to my guns and my own personal morals. So uh, yeah, I don't regret anything. And I wouldn't change that. What surprised you the most about the show? Um, do you know what, actually, I think it was more that I got on with people more than I thought I would. I thought there'd be a lot more clashing between personalities. Yeah, that took me by surprise. I thought Faye and I would clash, actually, because we've got very similar personalities and we're both very headstrong. So I thought that that could be a recipe for disaster. But turns out it is a recipe for disaster, just not in the way that I thought it would be. <laughs> Who would you couple up with now? I'm really one of those people that can't tread on my friend's toes and it made it really hard for me because I became friends with all of the girls. Um, I think out of the guys that are in the villa now, the ones that are more my type are probably, it's probably like Tyler and Teddy. Who do you think is going to recouple during Casa Amor? I think Toby will recouple during Casa Amor. I want Hugo to recouple during Casa Amor more than anyone. In terms of the girls, I think Chloe will definitely recouple at Casa Amor. I think that Abby will recouple at Casa Amor. I mean, this series we've seen bombshells come and go within 48 hours. Um, and I think, you know, at the time, Chloe and Toby were probably the weaker link and therefore the easiest way to get in and to remain in the villa. So for me, like I, it kind of felt like that's what was happening. I can't see any longevity yet, but it's early days. So personally, I think Abby might make moves in, during Casa Amor because there's no like strong chemistry relationship vibes there. There are rumors of Faye and Chloe feuding behind the scenes. What do you make of that? Hmm, I mean, that's, it's hard. I think in the villa, well, in the real world, you can, if you have a clash of personalities with someone, you can quite easily remove yourself. But obviously in the villa, you are with that person 24 hours a day. And even if you don't clash, like you will at some point just because it's so intense environment. I wouldn't say there was a lot of feuding. I think there's like clashes in personalities because they're both very strong women, but yeah, not a lot of feuding going on that I've seen. Do you think Lucinda is actually into Aaron after Brad? Watching Aaron like come out with his feelings. And I think, Watching Lucinda's reaction, it looked really awkward and she was a bit like, I'm not ready for this conversation. So it's hard to tell whether she's just not ready or whether she's not into it. But from my perspective, not as into Aaron as she was to Brad. Do you think Hugo is playing a game? Oh, uh, no, I don't think Hugo is playing a game. I think he's just very particular about what he wants um, and there's no shame in that. Who do you think is going to win the show? Um, so I've always said since day one that Jibberty are gonna win the show, but actually watching Liam and Millie's relationship come into like fruition, I, I think they're good contenders to win the show. Some people aren't convinced Jake is into Liberty. What do you think? I think actually watching the first episode really opened my eyes with some of the comments that Jake had made about his initial sexual chemistry towards Lib. But I, I'm a big believer that sexual chemistry can grow once you get to know somebody better. So, you know, those initial comments, I don't think is how he feels now. I, I do think it is different, like be, seeing things happen in the villa, but equally like 
I see how good of a bond they have in the villa and how well they get on and like how similar they are. And honestly, I mean, J Jake and Gerald, if anyone could put up with that and that means you have really good feelings for them. So yeah, I can't really see them being with anyone else. Are Tyler and Kaz a good match? I think Tyler and Kaz are a good match. You know, for me, like the whole time I've been in the villa, Kaz always said to me that she wanted a guy to just come in, make effort and just, just be for her, like really into her. And I think that Tyler's done a really good job of that so far. And you know, like everything she's described to me as her type, Tyler is that. So yeah, I think they're a really good match. What's your favorite memory from the show? I'm gonna say the line of booty challenge. For me, it was so weird doing it. Um, and I felt a little bit out of my comfort zone, but you know, once you've done it, you realize how fun it is and you would actually definitely do it again. I think all of the challenges are very different. The double O heaven challenge or the um, one the lads did first. I actually left with no makeup on because I was in tears. It was so funny. Who do you think was the villain of your series and why? Oh no, that's a hard question. I think Chloe was probably a villain um, during the Kaz and Toby situation. Whereas now I think Toby's probably considered the villain just because of how he's playing things with the girls. What were the best and worst parts of villa life? I think the best parts is just like having that another chance at youth and getting to be really young and silly and not think about adult responsibilities equally. For me, the worst part is probably like not having any control over over stuff. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a control freak, but you know, being me, I'd like to make my own decisions and sometimes it doesn't always go that way. Thanks for watching. I've been playing Text on the Beach.